I'm Helen Beekman from New York City. Essentially, I am a sculptor. I, I see the world three-dimensionally. I'm from California. When I started working, I, I was doing mostly bronze. And then I moved to New York and I realized that working in New York City is a very hard thing to do with all heavy equipment. I went into working two-dimensionally but with an organic substance that I could mold in my hands. The hay lends itself wonderfully as a flexible material and I can um, manipulate it but it also has a stiffness so you have to work very carefully getting some motion that you want. It has evolved over a number of years. Some of my pieces are images that you can recognize, some are abstracts. And I think what really might have started it was one fall day. I was on a hike and I came to a pond and I looked down and I saw all these beautiful leaves that had fallen to the bottom of the pond. And they were golds and browns and even some greens. And I, I sort of realized that life has a time frame. It's alive and then it fades, but yet it still lives. It's somewhere, these leaves were down at the bottom and there were many, many generations of these leaves that make the earth. So I got absorbed with that idea and how there's a cycle of life. If you look at certain pieces, um, such as this one over here, I call it hay pollock. It's three-dimensional, you can look into it. The hay has a life. I find it expressive. I have 16 panels that I call color fields. And again, they look to me, or they feel very much as if you are uh, looking into a pond, seeing the, what's happened, how the seasons have changed, how the leaves have fallen in, how the grasses, the pollens, whatever has, has uh, happened, and yet it's filled with color, and it still is very vibrant, and it still has a life going to it. I see sculptures as being very earthy. When I was about seven years old, I went to Paris with my parents, and I was blown away by the sculptures there. This is the most recent piece I've done, and uh, it's probably the one I should have started with. It's my husband, and obviously I know him very, very well, and I've looked at his face, I've looked at his eyes and nose, and every nuance, expression that he has. I knew I could nab him, I, I could get him spot on. I've been experimenting recently with words, yeah, language and symbols, and how language evolves from some recognizable image that people then associate with that word or thought. Hay has a life. 